to Barak Mitsubishi. My name is Josh and today we're doing a walk around video of this VF Series 2 SSV, sorry, Series 1 SSV Redline. Now, it is something very special and I will show you exactly what is so exciting about this vehicle once we get under the hood. For now, I'm going to walk you around and show you some of the features and the actual overall condition of the vehicle. On the front here, you've got that nice black split front grille with the chrome surrounds and that Holden badging right in the middle that does tie in very nicely with the silver paintwork. In terms of touch-ups in the front here, there are very, very minimal touch-ups which we've actually needed to do to it. So very well looked after vehicle. The headlights do have that really nice sharp shape, probably the best looking Commodore headlights out there. And down the bottom you've got the, the black grill with the daytime running lab and the fog line in there as well. We've also got the parking sensors all the way around, along the front. Now, something special about this vehicle, you have got those really nice 20 inch wheels on it. They are a staggered fit, so the backs are a little bit wider than the fronts, but they do look really nice and once again, really complement that silver paintwork. You've got the color match side mirrors and the chrome door handles and that little chrome vent in the side there with the indicator built in does look really nice and adds to the whole aesthetic. Now that vent there is not actually functional. Being the red line, you also get Brembo brakes at the front. Opening this up, we will take a quick look on the inside. It is in beautiful condition even on the inside, so the seat bolsters all very well looked after. Even the scuff plates down on the doors, once again, minimal scuffs and the door trims where people get lazy and kick the doors open. There are very minimal marks on that door. SS badging on the door there and the paintwork does present really well. If I am being super picky, there is one very minor mark across that door, but nothing really too concerning back wheels and the front wheels do present in remarkable condition. Fuel filler cap is on the driver's side and you've got those really nice red smoked tail lights on the back there which do really add to the whole aesthetic of the vehicle. Now you have got an X-Force exhaust with those nice quad chrome tips. They do sound incredible especially with what is hiding under that bonnet. You've also got a tow bar on the back and that SSV badging on the back with the red V2. Well remind everyone that it is a red line. Opening up the boot Something awesome about this Commodore is you get plenty of boot space back here. Underneath the floor is your uh, spare wheel. Now, that is not going to be the same size as the ones on at the moment. However, it will serve its purpose. You've also got that Sony x sub in the back. So, really good sound system in this vehicle as well. And it is all very well set up. Along this side of the vehicle now, the paintwork once again does present in remarkable condition. Me being me, I am very, very picky with my paintwork and there are one or two very slight marks but nothing really concerning at all. That next wheel, once again, incredible condition and uh, the tires on them are near brand new. Making our way along this side now, once again, there's nothing more I can really pick out on the vehicle in terms of marks, but the next wheel, once again, it is unmarked. There is a little uh, bit of dirt on that, but brakes in good con the brake calipers themselves in really good condition, no discoloring on them at all. But what we're going to do now is the exciting part. Let's take a look under the bonnet. Guys, taking a look under the bonnet now, what we have is a beautiful LS engine that powers this vehicle. Now, being the Series 1, you do get the 6 litre V8, and you've also got a 6 speed manual gearbox. Now, that manual gearbox is coupled with a, an Exceedy Devil clutch. It is a very heavy duty clutch, and when you drive this car, you'll understand exactly why it needs them. It's also got uh, your VCM 13 camshaft package, performance exhaust and aftermarket headers as well as a custom tune. It also has a heavy duty tow pack so if you want a full list of accessories and its current performance and tune information please do not hesitate to call us. Take a look inside the Commodore now. I apologize if the camera work is a little bit shaky for the interior that cam does shake the whole car. On the driver's side door here, you do get that really nice cream suede. You've also got a little carbon fiber trim and that cream leather down there as well. All power windows are automatic down, however, the front ones are also automatic up. You've got the toggle for your power mirrors above that. Your boot release is on the door there next to your premium Bose speaker system. Up on the door, you've got the central locking, central locking buttons. Your headlight controls are on the right hand side and they are auto, so just leave it in auto. The car will decide when it needs to use them. Next to that is the, it's the illumination control for your cluster. You've also got your heads up display control, so little heads up display that pops up on your window, sorry, on your windshield. On the right hand stalk, you've got your indicator, indicators as well as 
the menu controls for the digital display between the clusters. Also you've got your washer and wiper controls on the left hand store. Now on the steering wheel itself, all your media controls are on the right hand side here and all your, cru all your cruise control and safety systems are on the left. So you've got forward collision mitigation and your lane departure warning there as well. Now on the steering wheel, really nice carbon fiber trim continued throughout the vehicle. Having a look at the center display now, I will just put it into reverse quickly and just show you the nice reverse camera you get. Uh, so you can see the tow bar there, so if you did want to back up to the tow bar, you can do so nice and easy. If you did want to just view the diagram of your parking sensors, you can do so by pressing Park Assist. Now, what else you get on this head unit is your navigation, as you can see. You've also got your AM and FM radio and Bluetooth connectivity. Down here, all the hard buttons for your radio. You've also got the climate control settings down here. So dual zone climate control means you can set different temperatures for passenger and driver. You've got some storage down here next to a 12 volt socket if you wanted to plug your phone in. The shifter itself, even though the clutch is quite heavy, is fairly friendly and easy to drive. You've got your traction control, park assist, and your parking sensors buttons all on the left hand side here. A little bit of storage, electric park brake, two cup holders, and that leather wrap center console when you open it up. As you can see, there, there is a little plug in here for your Varex muffler, uh, USB input, AUX input, and a little key slot as well. Behind here, you've got two air conditioning vents, and between the seats, two subtle pop out cup holders if you did want to put some drinks in the back. Now, panning around the interior, you will notice it has been very well looked after. So, uh, even the roof lining, the seats, all in really good condition. You also get an automatic sunroof. So pressing that button on the left all the way in opens it all the way up and pushing it in forward does close it up. You also have the option to tilt it up if you want. So really good for ventilating the car and keeping the air flowing, especially on a nice summer day. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch the walk around video of this beautiful SSV. As you can see in this kind of condition, it has been very well looked after. And with this kind of modifications, it is truly one of a kind and it is something you are going to want to test drive. Just see how incredible the drive of this car is, how incredible it sounds and what kind of effort has gone into doing these modifications. Something I would highly recommend is please ask us about the glass coat because that is going to give you an additional warranty on your paintwork. Keep it looking just this incredible. Well, for as long as you might own it. Something that if you are using our in-house finance, sorry, Julio or Mario, our business managers, would love to talk to you about your finance packages. They will show you just how minimal the repayments are going to change with the glass coat in there. Just before I go, you need to check out our Google reviews as well. 4.8 stars with over a thousand reviews from customers Australia wide. Just shows that people do enjoy dealing with us. We make the process easy. We'd like to ensure that you are buying a good quality vehicle from the right people. If you have any questions at all, the number to call is 9907055. My name is Josh and thank you so much for watching.